Hey there, this is René for GNS Trivolt, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the OSPF DR and BDR election lab. Now if you look at this uh, topology, you can see on the left side there is a switch with router Marge, Bart and Homer, and on the right side we have a switch that is connected to Homer, Maggie and Lisa. Now OSPF will elect a designated router and a backup designated router on each multi-access network. So that means that on the left side there will be a DR and BDR election between March, Bart and Homer. And we'll also have an election between Homer, Maggie and Lisa. Now and in this video I'm going to show you how you can influence the uh, decision which router will become DR or BDR. Okay, so the first step we need to enable OSPF of course. So that's what I'm going to start with. And the easiest way of doing this, because we need to type in all of these network commands, I'm just going to type network all zeros, because this is the fastest way of enabling OSPF. And it's not something you should do on a production network, but in this lab I only care about having OSPF up and running. So we'll just copy and paste this to all of the routers. Okay, so it'll take a while before um, we have these OSPF neighbor adjacencies. Uh, let's take a look at the first step here. The first step, ensure router March is the DR for network 1.0, so that's the left, uh, the left side here. Um, so it needs to be the DR and router BART should be the BDR. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, meanwhile my OSPF neighbor adjacencies have been established. So let's do show IP OSPF neighbor. And you can see that 2.1 has become the DR and 1.3 is the BDR. So let's take a look which devices um, we are talking about. 2.1 is the DR and that's probably router Homer over here. So we can do show IP OSPF. And you can see routing, <coughs> sorry, routing process OSPF1. And this is the router ID for router Homer. So for this segment on the left side, router Homer has been elected as the designated router. And router Bart, that's 1.3, is the uh, designated, uh, the, sorry, the backup designated router. So let's make sure that router March will become the DR. Now there are two methods how you can do this. First of all, you can change the priority for OSPF, uh, which will determine the, who will become the DR. You can also change the router ID. So the router with the highest router ID will become the DR if the priority is the same on all devices. Now let's take a look over here. You can see router, um, if you look at the neighbors, that the priority is 1 by default. So let's play with the uh, priority here. IP OSPF priority and let me set it to 100. Now the thing is with OSPF, once the DR and BDR have been elected, they will stay as the DR, the DR or BDR unless you reset OSPF. So even though Router March has a different priority now, Homer will stay the DR. So what we need to do is reset OSPF here. Just reset it. And I'm going to do the same thing on Router Bart, which is the BDR at this moment. And we'll wait until our neighbors are back. So 
So it takes a while before OSPF has an adjacency again. There we go. Okay, so what can we see now? Um, if I look at my neighbors, you can see that router Homer has become the backup designated router. And router Bart is now a drudder or DR other or whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, which probably means that router March has been elected as the uh, designated router. So let's see if we can find this by looking at this router. We probably can, but I'm not sure which uh, command it is or where we have to look at. I can probably check it with a show command, but not sure where to look at. So let's just look at router Bart. And you can see right here that router March, which has 1.2 as the router ID, has become the designated router. Um, okay. So that's the first step. Second step, make sure router Bart will become the backup designated router. Now we can do this, of course, by changing the priority as well. So I'll set the priority to 90, which is... Not as good as March, which is the DR, but it's better than one that router Homer has currently. So we'll change it, and what I'll do is do a clear IP OSPF on router BART, and I'll do a clear on router Homer. There we go. So let's look at router Homer. Show IP OSPF neighbor. So these are the two routers I'm concerned about. Uh, 1.2, that's router March, has been elected as the designated router. And over here is router Bart, which has been elected as the backup designated router. So that's how you do it. So by changing the priority, you can determine who will become DR or BDR. Just keep in mind that you need to reset the OSPF process. So we did this. And the next step is make sure router Homer is the DR for network 192.168.2.0. So that's the right side that we have. But we are not allowed to change the priority. And Maggie should be the BDR. Okay, so what we need to do in this case, if I'm not allowed to change the priority, we'll have to play with the uh, router ID. So what I'll do is, let's take a look at router Lisa for example. You can see right now 2.4 has become the backup designated router. 2.4, that's router Maggie at the top. And I can see that 2.1 is a DR other or drudder, which is router Homer. So that means that router Lisa is the designated router right now. Okay, but I want to make sure that router Homer becomes the DR. So let's go to router Homer over here. And what I'll do is go to OSPF. And what we can do is say router ID. And make sure it has a high value. So let's do something like... Um, I don't know, let's check what IP addresses did I use on this device. 1.1, 2.1. Let's just pick something like, let's keep it easy. There we go. It already warns me that I need to clear the OSPF process. So that's what we'll do. And now we'll take a look again at router Lisa, show IP OSPF neighbor. You can see the neighbor ID, that's the router ID for router Homer. Uh, full, it says DR other. And that's because I didn't reset router Lisa, which is the DR. So let's reset it. And we'll see if it makes any difference. So 
So we're still stuck in the two-way state. And it seems we need to be patient. Okay, so you can see the changes now, and you can also see that I'm being stupid here. Because right now router Maggie 2.4 has become the designated router, which makes sense because this is of course a higher IP address than uh, whatever router Homer has right now. So let's change the router ID once again, and I'll do both router Homer and Maggie. So Homer should be the DR. Let's go to router Homer. Router ID, let's set it to this value. That looks good to me. And router Maggie should be the backup designated router. So we'll set it to a high value as well, but not as good as what router Homer has. Clear IP OSPF and we'll reset it. Let's take a look at router Lisa over here. Now there's something funny going on here it seems, because you can see three neighbors at the moment. That's the old router ID, you can see the old router ID for Maggie, you can see uh, that timer expired so now it's gone. So let's see what is going on here. Router Homer is the BDR. And this one, router Maggie is the DR other. That's not what it is supposed to be. So let's take a look. Uh, let's reset router Lisa over here. There we go. So this is what I'm uh, looking for. So this is router Homer, which has become the DR. And this is router Maggie, which has become the backup designated router. So that's how you do it. So keep in mind, if you're playing uh, around with the OSPF router ID and the priority and such, um, first of all, once OSPF has elected a designated router and backup designated router, they will keep this role unless you reset OSPF. Um, second of all, first of all, the priority will determine who will become DR or BDR. If the priority is equal, like it is in this example, it's one by default, then the router ID will determine um, who will become um, the DR or BDR. So that's it. That's all that I wanted to, to show you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and till next time.